Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. We are working on a new achieve. New agent in the suburbs. Complete a few renovation jobs in the new district and get to know your new clients. Tasks perform jobs renovation. We have have done one out of the five needed to complete this achieve. Let's take a job so that we can work towards this achieve. Let's take this job for Anya Norman on Charles Street 158. The payment for this job will be $10,800. It is a puzzle job. That means that the space that we have to work with is going to be very tight. I'm looking for someone to renovate my room and create a place that provides a basic need of a religious person. Requirements create an altar budget $8,750. Finish guidelines focus on the preferred furnishing and the floors they don't mind the prestige let's accept this puzzle job and head on over to charles street 158 here we are at charles street 158 let's begin the renovation this is the tight little space that they wish us to work in the client prefers vintage he does not want posh he wants a hardwood or a concrete we're gonna pick this ramsey oak floor the individual wants gray walls this gray wall is vintage we're gonna use this one let's try to get these water bowls in here first these water bowls are rather large this black one in over here near the door we need a rug we will put this rug in the corner let's put a water bowl right here under the window they want temple decoration this holy sign is vintage we'll put that right there we will use this unique lectern we will put a temple candle in right over here in this corner and another temple candle right over here in this corner and we'll put a temple candle in in this corner and we'll put a temple candle between these two water bowls we need three more temple decorations we can't use this pilaster because it is modern and posh we're gonna use this large holy symbol right next to the candle and we'll put another large holy symbol right on the other side we'll put a holy symbol right next to this water bowl in front of the window they want wall decor it will use this eye of nature wall decor right over the holy symbol we'll put this eye of nature right right next to the candle near the door they want two paintings we will use this meow painting that was provided by the client we'll put it right over the water bowl and we will put another meow painting right next to the window and they need two office cupboards we will put an office cupboard right under this eye and we'll put another office cupboard right next to it we have met all the requirements for this room let us deliver the job art appreciator three out of ten here comes the individual who hired us to build an altar in this tight spot he is looking at the podium and he loves it he is looking at the meow painting that he provided us with he loves that he is loving those cabinets looking at the overall design of the room he just loves that we jammed all the things he wanted into this tight space let's take a look at the review anya norman charles street 158 we got five stars it's like smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world astonishing amazing agent some extra cash for extra to work required furnishing five stars preferred furnishing five stars floors five stars walls five stars prestige five stars first impression five stars we got a bonus payout of two thousand one hundred and sixty dollars for a total payout of twelve thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars we also have the chance to do an elite contract yan rise 192 the payment would be nineteen thousand three hundred dollars the famous and popular chef june has decided to open her new sushi restaurant in new your town. Someone needs to help her renovate the dining room. Requirements renovate a restaurant. Budget $30,000. We'll pay extra if the job is done in 12 days. Finishing guidelines. Focus on the preferred furnishing and the required furnishing. They don't mind the prestige. Let's accept that job. Let's head on over there. Here we are. To do the elite contract on Yan Rice 192. Now that we got the rice started, do you have a minute to discuss something that has been on my mind? Lately, I have felt like like my restaurant needs more. I had a vision to serve the best sushi in town, but this inside doesn't scream best sushi. It screams gas station sushi. And well, no one likes that. I need a design that will bring in celebrities. I usually wouldn't ask a stranger, but you've been the talk of the town and I'm desperately in debt to make this happen. Will you help? Great, just in time for the rice to be done. 
Let's eat. Let's send Uncle Steven to begin cleaning. Scrap this, Uncle Steve. Scrap that. Repair this. Repair that. Scrap that. And try to repair this. We have some things outside as well. Try to repair that. And try to repair that. He was able to repair the sushi bar. He's gonna put that in player storage. And he's gonna put this in player storage. He was able to save the dead plant. I haven't put that in player storage. And we'll put the vase in player storage. I don't know if everything is gonna fit. That looks to be about it. Uncle Steve, you can head on out so we can begin the renovation. We have 12 days to complete this job. They prefer Zen and Modern. No posh. Two bathrooms. Let's build those two bathrooms. We're gonna put the bathrooms over here near the door. And we're gonna put doors on those bathrooms. Bathroom number one will be the left one. We need a tile in there. We're gonna put this basic floor in. And they want yellow walls. We're gonna put this sunny yellow modern wall in here. We should put some doors on it. We're gonna put this sliding modern door on and this sliding modern door on. They want a toilet. We're gonna use this future toilet in a yellow. We'll put it right there. They want a bathroom sink. We'll give them this Zen bathroom sink in this yellow color. They want a Japanese plant. We'll use the one that was in player storage. We'll put that right near the toilet. They want a plunger. We have a yellow plunger. We'll put that near the plant. We need a toilet paper. We're gonna use this modern toilet paper. We're gonna move the plant over here in this corner. Move the plunger between the toilet and the sink. We'll move this modern toilet paper right next to the toilet and the wall. They want a toilet brush. Give them this white toilet brush. We'll put that on the other side of the toilet paper. They want a bathroom mirror. We're gonna use this modern round mirror over the sink. They want a bathroom rug. We're gonna use this Levy bathroom rug. It was provided by the client. Put it right in front of the sink. They want a towel rack. We're gonna give them these contemporary towels. They want a soap dispenser. We'll give them this strawberry soap dispenser. They want a wall lamp. We'll give them this modern LED lamp right over the mirror. And let's go off to the next bathroom. Next bathroom also wants tile. We're gonna use the same basic porcelain tile. They want brown walls. We're gonna use this brown ray wall. It's modern. We're gonna sell this toilet. We're gonna use the Zen toilet. And we'll put a Zen toilet in here on this side. We want a sink. We'll use the same bathroom sink. They want a bathroom rug. We will use the same bathroom rug. They want a toilet brush. We will use the same toilet brush. They want a plunger. We're gonna use the same yellow plunger next to the sink. They want toilet paper. We're gonna use that same toilet paper holder next to the toilet. They want a bathroom mirror. There is no imagination going on here. We're gonna use that same round bathroom mirror and the same modern light over the mirror. They want a towel rack. We will use that same stack of contemporary towels. We will use the same color soap dispenser and the Japanese plant. We will use the same one that we used in the other room. The bathroom is a D out of a D, as is the other bathroom. We're gonna put the water in. We're gonna put a water tap there and a water tap on the other side. We need to put lighting in here. Put light right there and a light right here. The bathroom is a C out of a D. The other bathroom is a C out of a D. We are going into this restaurant. They preferred hardwood floors. We'll do these pine plants. They want a yellow wall. We're gonna do this sunny yellow wall. We want a sushi bar. We're gonna do this red sushi bar right where it was originally. They want a Japanese knife. We will put a Japanese knife right there. They want a sushi cutting board. We're gonna put the sushi cutting board right in the front. We'll put another Japanese knife right in front of the sushi mat. They want a long table. We'll put a long table over here. We'll put a long table over here. I'm going to move the electrical box back here. They want a sushi table. We will put a sushi table here, a sushi table here, and a sushi table over here. They want sushi bar chairs. How many of these do we want? 15. We are putting 15 sushi bar chairs. We need six herbal brews. We need five soy sauce. So we'll put one on each table. We need sushi plates. Five of those. We'll put the long sushi plates on the long tables. And we will put the short sushi plates on the smaller tables. They want a walk. I can put the walk right there. They want Japanese teapots. They want two of those. One right here. And we'll put one right here. The bank says we have charged and collected a total of $3,002 to cover the monthly installment for one of your active loans. Thank you for your cooperation. We have 14 chopsticks. We'll put them out on the tables as if they were place settings. We have all the 14 chopsticks that they want. They want five sushi. Put another sushi over here. They want two more sushi. Put a big line of sushi right here. 
and I will put some more sushi over here. We need five Japanese posters. This a Japanese poster right by the door. We'll put a Japanese poster behind the long table here. I can put a Japanese poster over here and behind this long table. We will put a Japanese poster right in the middle of the sushi bar. We'll put it over here next to this long table. The sushi restaurant is a B out of a C. They want um, some Japanese decorations. They want four of them. So we'll put this uh, Japanese wall fan in this bathroom. We will put a Japanese wall fan in this bathroom. We will put a Japanese wall fan back here. And we will put a Japanese fan over here on this wall. They want two Japanese lanterns. And we will put one here where there was one originally. And we'll put one right over here. They want two Japanese vase. We will put one over here near the bathroom. And we will put the other one right by the kitchen door. We will put the oriental wall decorations in the bathroom. We have $10,768 remaining. We need to put some electricity on the property. We will put an electrical outlet here. An electrical outlet here. We'll put an electric outlet right here. We'll put a floor top. We have 10 days remaining. The sushi restaurant's prestige is a B out of a C. Let us deliver the job. The individual who hired us is coming in and she is looking at the restaurant that we designed for her. She's looking at the sushi board. She loves the sushi board. She's looking at the soy sauce on the sushi bar. She loves that. She's looking at the cups of herbal brew. She loves that. She's going outside of her sushi restaurant to look at the overall design of the sushi restaurant and she loves it. She's writing us her review. Kitty Life item set co-designed by the winner of the Halloween renovation contest. Great work. New unique items unlocked from the sushi restaurant contract. Complete this elite contract three times to unlock all items. Let's take a look at our review. Sushi chef Yan Rice 192 gave us five stars. It's better than I could have imagined. It's like Smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world. Astonishing. Here's a tip for good work. Required furnishing five stars. Preferred furnishing five stars. Floors five stars. Walls five stars. Prestige five stars. First impression five stars. We got a bonus of $7,720 for a total payout of $27,020. We are making progress on our new agent in the suburbs. Complete a few renovation jobs in the new district and get to know our new clients. Task perform jobs, renovation. We have done a three out of five. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.